Good morning, Mario, and good morning, Switch fans. Hopefully the fireworks didn't keep you up too late. Hopefully you're ready to return to our regularly scheduled work week or summer break week or good morning, Mario week, because here we are with another show about Nintendo putting its first game on PC, Ubisoft coming back at us with some new games, and Nintendo Ninjas are real. Like, I think this is confirmation. So what's going on, everybody? It's Agam Switch 4s. Hope you're all doing fantastic and staying alive out there. Let's kick it off with Ubisoft, who decided to skip June for their big games, uh, except for Mario Plus Rabbids, and they're gonna do it again. Now, this could be parallel to what Nintendo is doing because Ubisoft is coming forward with their own Ubisoft Forward, basically a direct, in September, all right? So they are going to rock and roll with their published games in September. Maybe Nintendo is gonna do the same thing, skip in June, dip in, in September, that could be. Now, I would say we'll probably see like a launch type trailer for Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope, given that that game's out mid-October, but maybe something else will come to Switch. This is apparently the event where they'll reveal the future of Assassin's Creed, I would love for Nintendo to be incorporated in those plans. The Switch has been a great hub for past Assassin's Creed's, good Assassin's Creed's, all the Ezio collection games, Black Flag and a few others like Rogue, three, I want more, okay? The AC games I feel have gotten kind of bloated and repetitive, but maybe they can sort of reset the course and hopefully that course includes Nintendo, especially if they unveil new hardware anytime soon. It would be a great fit, 4K portable, AC on the go, that would be awesome. Any other games would be icing on the cake. Will Skull and Bones get ported to the Switch now that that's supposed to be coming out this year? Avatar probably will not be, and I definitely expect that to be featured and dated at this showcase. Beyond Good and Evil 2 sounds like a great fit for Switch. They did mention it today, so if that shows up, Probably won't be on Switch, but you never know. And then, of course, there'll probably be a new game or two as well. So that all takes place on September the 10th at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern live stream. We'll probably watch it together. That's coming up in about three months. So you got three months to uh, wait for, for Ubisoft. Hopefully not three months to wait for Nintendo, though. A lot of people are on Nintendo Watch. Are they going to have some sort of July presentation? A direct general? A Splatoon 3 Direct, a hardware reveal since July is the month they reveal hardware. They did it with Switch Lite and Switch OLED in the second week of July. So maybe, baby, anything is possible. But today, Nintendo didn't reveal anything new. Instead, they want to let you know that their big old game sale is ending tomorrow night. And there's actually a bunch of good stuff in this sale. I'll put a link to the video I made on the sale in the description. There's a ton of great games, first party, third party, and indies. So if you're looking to grab something, for the summer months, we do have Xenoblade Chronicles 3 coming out at the end of July, but it's kind of a small summer for big releases, so maybe you can pick up something you missed, and I'll keep you posted on Nintendo announcing anything. With their past hardware reveals, it was just boom, it's out there. If it's a Direct, they will announce it beforehand, I'm almost certain. If it's just Mario Kart on Twitter, it'll be a surprise, so we'll keep you posted. Eyes peeled for July, no guarantees of anything, but it does seem like things are brewing. And there's that mysterious July 19th date that we'll, we'll have, to, have to keep an eye on, if you know what I'm talking about. Now then, Nintendo is keeping an eye on uh, leaks. <laughs> they really don't like them over there at the big N, and they've had a bunch of them. We're talking about the Giga Leak. We're talking about prototypes being leaked. We're talking about canceled games being leaked, concepts being leaked, videos being leaked. They have a lot of security threats that they need to try and patch up. And at the recent shareholders meeting, they asked President Furukawa, what is going on? What are you doing about all of these leaks, data breaches, security, etc.? It seems like Nintendo is a sieve right now. Everything's just draining through. And he said, we are taking a variety of initiatives. He said they're employing outside specialists, which to me means ninjas. What other kind of outside specialists would you require? He says Nintendo has their own information security committee. Okay, they have information security management. So they have all that internally, but outside specialists, this is where the Nintendo Ninjas come into play. I am convinced that Furukawa has a team of super spies around the globe ready to jump on you if you do another Giga Leak, so be careful. They got that Bowser guy. Not Doug, not King Koopa, but Gary Bowser. He's in prison, I believe, for his, uh, his emulation station that he had set up. Sort of a leak, right? I don't know. Security in general is of the utmost importance to Nintendo, and it's a bad look when all of this stuff has been sneaking out. We know Nintendo hates hacks, hates leaks, hate things of this sort, and it, and it makes sense. What company would like that and welcome that? 
but Nintendo is using both physical and technical countermeasures. That's a quote, physical and technical. So they got computers and they have physical countermeasures. Ninjas! Anyways, while Nintendo is up to their antics, there's a bigger antic brewing and one that would change the, change the gaming scene, I think, forever. PC has become a huge focus for the other big platform holders. Microsoft has embraced it for a long time. Obviously, Microsoft. Sony, though, has really come into the PC scene as of late. They got God of War over there, Horizon, they're putting Uncharted, Last of Us, right? They are doing it big with PC. They're embracing the PC scene as a supplement to PlayStation. Meanwhile, Nintendo is all about their walled garden. They keep their IP tight. It was a big deal when Nintendo went mobile with games like Pokemon Go, Super Mario Run, and Mario Kart Tour. Bringing major IP to a platform that isn't their own was kind of monumental. Now we take it for granted, but yeah, Nintendo embraced the mobile scene. And it looks like they might be embracing the PC scene. So basically what happened is a data mine occurred for Mario Kart Tour. And inside they found different references and support for mouse. For mouse. And no, this isn't the return of my guy, Mauser from Mario Bros. 2, even though it should be one of the most overlooked villains in the history of media. This is a reference to Mouse on the computer. Now, it could just be, you know, hey, uh, just development, right? They're just testing things out, but there's also been data mined a bunch of references and code for native emulation. Now, this really seems like they are getting ready to emulate this game for PC. And why would they do that? And why Mario Kart Tour? Well, it ties into an upcoming release for the PC, which is the Google Play Games Initiative, which is going to help bring Google Play Store games from Android phones to PC. Now, Mario Kart Tour is obviously on iOS and Android, and maybe Google and Nintendo have talked about bringing Mario Kart Tour as one of the tentpole feature launch apps for the Google Play Games PC service. Either way, Mario Kart Tour would become the first ever Nintendo published game on a PC. Not a ROM, not a hack, not a leak. Actually Nintendo intending to do this. Now let's not get too crazy. I don't think Mario Odyssey will end up on PC anytime soon. I don't think Breath of the Wild would. But in a world where everyone's trying to expand and Nintendo themselves have said that they want to spread their IP, right? They're trying theme parks. They're trying movies. Could they try PC as well? Is this just like the can of worms opening, the can of Goombas spreading its seal and saying, maybe. Nintendo is slower going than just about anybody else in the video game business, so if it were to happen, I expect it to take like a decade. But there is a future where we are playing Metroid Prime 5 on PC. Maybe Metroid Prime 4, depending on when it releases. I put the odds of that at like 20% because I do think Nintendo still values their brand and their systems so highly. But this would be their gateway to considering it, to looking at it, to seeing how players embrace it. It's a bit weird with Tour, given that it's vertical gameplay, but if it is on this Google Play Games initiative, then that makes a lot of sense. And maybe Nintendo is just doing this to fulfill some Google Play responsibility requirement or request. Maybe there's nothing more to it, but I still think in 2022, if we do see Mario Kart, any Mario Kart on PC, that is monumental. And I wanna know, would you wanna play Nintendo games on PC? Like, do you think that's good? Opening it up to more players, or do you think that's bad? Like, I could see some people saying like, Nintendo is special because it's Nintendo, and it's just Nintendo. You play on the Nintendo with the Nintendo games. It could go both ways. I don't think either is wrong, but I'm curious what you think. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna keep eyes on this because Nintendo PC, it's just a fascinating conversation. My friends, that'll do it for today's GMM. It seems like there's a lot of rumblings in the Pokemon space, so let me just put out there that a trailer could appear for Scarlet and Violet later this week, but I would look more towards next week for Nintendo's next big reveal. I'll keep you posted though either way. Make sure you're staying safe, staying healthy, staying happy, staying positive out there. I wish the best for all of you. I love and appreciate you so much. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you tomorrow. Until that time, thanks again for watching. Switch Force, out.